This is episode 1878 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I welcome you to the final episode of our seven-part series. We've been exploring this week all about how to sleep better, how to get a good night's sleep, and how to fall back to sleep when you wake up in the middle of the night And instead of staring at the ceiling, waiting for your eyelids to become sleepy again, you can do some techniques to help you fall back to sleep. Throughout this series, you have explored meditation techniques to help you sleep better, but also you have been creating your own sleep ritual. How did it go in putting together your ritual? That was your challenge in yesterday's episode. That was actually your sixth sleep step. It was to put it all together and to see what you could do to tweak the ritual, to make it your own, and even to add some of your own sleep steps. Was it a little bit choppy or did it flow beautifully? I would love to hear how you tweaked your own sleep ritual. You can go to my Sip and Dome Facebook page and drop me a message and let me know how your sleep ritual worked out for you. I'd love to hear all about it because as I've mentioned throughout this series, creating a way for you to consistently sleep well is so valuable for your overall health and wellness. Many times, as I started out this series, I shared with you, we think that sleep is an option, but sleep is not an option. It's a vital part of your health and well-being. It impacts the whole rest of your life. And meditation is one way to help you sleep better at night. So you are doing all kinds of good things for yourself. Well, I want to congratulate you because you have reached the final episode of our sleep series. I hope you will celebrate. And I want to share with you one final sleep step. And know that, again, as I've mentioned in previous episodes in this series, as you have gone through this week, this is your chance to test things, to see what you still need to work on to see what's going well. And then next week and the following weeks, you can begin applying your sleep ritual steps and the sleep techniques. So my final sleep step for you is this. As you get ready to drift off to sleep, Do this technique that I have shared with you before, but it's so valuable that it bears repeating. As you're laying down in bed, getting ready to go to sleep, or if you've woken up in the middle of the night and you're having trouble falling asleep, begin to notice your emotions. Name those emotions. Think about what triggered those emotions and then listen to your heart. Bring those restless thoughts down into your heart to where you begin to feel the qualities of your heart, the love, the gratitude, the compassion. If you can focus on what you're grateful for, or feel deep compassion for someone or some cause, or your love for someone or something, you will find your mind and body begin to relax and to begin to cycle these beautiful heart-centered emotions. I have to say that I did this last night. I had gone to a spiritual meeting that I go to every other week. It's with a group, and I really enjoy this group. 
And I came home and I thought I would sleep beautifully, but I ate something that didn't quite agree with me. And I felt my stomach grumbling and it was grumbling a lot and I fell asleep, but then I woke up because my stomach was still hurting. So I started to focus on my emotions. And what I was experiencing was regret because at the spiritual meeting I had been to, we just usually serve light snacks at the meeting. And I ate something that I knew would not agree with me, but I didn't really want to offend the host. And I know that she wouldn't have been offended at all if I would have told her, oh, those don't really agree with me. But she'd gone to a lot of trouble to prepare a really nice snack for us. So I had a little bit and I thought that I would be fine, but I wasn't. And so I felt this sense of regret that I hadn't honored myself. I thought, why didn't I just decline the snack? She even had some other things on the table that I could have eaten. And I did eat. She had some fruit. So I felt this frustration. And then I started to go into a negative thought pattern where I started to think of other things that I should or should not be doing. So I started to get really down on myself. and I started this downward cycle. And to pull myself out of it, I first of all recognized it and realized that I was tired and I was frustrated. And so that is why I was experiencing these negative emotions. I started to do the breathing technique for this week where I inhaled through my nose to the count of four. I held my breath to the count of four and I exhaled through my nose to the count of four. And I did this four times. And I mentally repeated, I release the day. And that helped me gradually after doing this for about 10 minutes, I started to feel calm and relaxed and I was really tired. So I did fall back asleep. So this is one way I use the meditation techniques for this week to help myself sleep better. Try them, do these techniques, tweak them, make them your own and get some sleep. I have so enjoyed sharing this week's Sleep Better series with you. As always, you are so worth slowing down for.